Hello everyone, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. This is another Lindsay Creates episode and we will be continuing to decorate in this rose journal that we've been working on, but we haven't done it in quite a while. I've been really busy and so I have a little bit of time to share this video with you. As always, I love to show you my messy desk before I get started. That way I hope that it inspires you to go ahead and craft even when there's a mess. I like to talk through what's on my desk and then get into a project. Um, I have been collaging um, junk mail. It's like this is from a security system junk mail piece. And I was like, oh, wow, it's kind of it has these cool folds in it. And so I thought if I collaged over it, that would be so cute to tuck in somewhere. So I've been working on that in my spare moments when I sit down at my desk and have a second, um, I'm almost done with the second one and I have three. So I'm just going to set these aside, but I'm going to keep out some of the papers I had here because I may want to use them. They're the right color scheme for the journal. So I'm just going to set this to the side and whoop, we'll get right into our work. This glue stick, it dried out. Yeah. No saving that one, but I did pull a new one. I've been enjoying this brand. This is the Amazon Basics. I was extremely, extremely skeptical because it's kind of just a generic glue stick. And I had been using the blue Uhu glue sticks, which are pretty good. I love these. I bought them in bulk and I love them. They're so buttery. The only thing that I wish is maybe it was a little bit tougher, but for a glue stick, I really can't complain. It's it's right up there, uh, very close, maybe just blow uhu for the stick quality, but it spreads on much better. You don't get those little gummy um, bead parts that come off, whatever you call them. So we'll be using that probably. And the last time we looked at this journal, we completed decorating uh, signature one, I believe. It looks like we started on, or we're about to start on signature two. We'll see how far we get. My flexible goal is to decorate, oh, it looks like we, did we decorate this one already? We'll go through and just make sure. Looks like there's some stuff in here, um, is to get, two decorated. Maybe we'll even get into three because this looks like it's partly decorated. It's been a while, like I said. So here at the beginning of the signature, so this is my script and lace kit. I have a little collaged pocket, but it doesn't have any kind of card in it. So that's what I want to focus on now. This is pretty. I like that. So this was made for me um, by Michelle, Michelle Wynn, and it's just a little writing envelope with a postage stamp. It would go perfect. I really like it. I think the only thing that I want to do is maybe just add a little bit of ink to the edges. I'm going to be using um, color box. I think this is in the toasted apricot color. So it's not a brown brown. It's kind of a apricot brown, but I'm just going to add a little bit of inking because I want to. Wouldn't be necessary. I love her coffee dyed effect here. And since it is going to be for writing on, I really love that. It's like a letterhead. I don't want to add anything else to it. I think it's really perfect. And I think I want that postage stamp showing. So if I stick it like that, we see the postage stamp. All right, let's move on. A lot of these pages are going to be good to go because we've already done a lot of videos working on these pages. If you just type in Lindsay Creates, all of these will pop up. Uh, Lindsay Zenor, Lindsay Creates. So we've done stenciled pages and I've even stamped on this. This is my um, Rose Gold paper pack, Playtime Naturalist. So now we have a nice coffee dyed paper here. I'm going to use one of these stamps. This is from my Amazon swap that I've been doing over my Facebook group. If that intrigues you, I'd love to do an Amazon swap with you. I make you a journal. You send me something on my Amazon wish list, and um, we've had a lot of fun doing that. And this is a really pretty branch stamp that I've been using. 
We'll see how that stamps. I did stamp the edge a little bit. I'm okay with that. And I think that I will make it look more like that was on purpose with this pen. If I can get it to write. It's a, whoop, I'm gonna flip it everywhere. It's a gel pen. And the black ink does not wanna write. So I'm just gonna do some little faux stitching lines around the edge just to not cover, but make it look more artistic. I hope that everybody is having a wonderful day. I hope that you have a craft project that you are working on that you are excited to get to, whether it's after you finish work, whether you're working on it all day, whether you're planning your next project. I hope you'll tell me in the comments what you're working on. Somehow I managed to get way too many projects started and I've been trying to finish them up for sure. I really like how that came out. We have a top tuck spot. I think that's, a, is that a tuck spot or is that just a piece of paper glued down? Oh, it's just a piece of paper glued down. Okay, cool. I have a label here. I'm going to leave that blank so that it can, they can write a month or something like that. All right, uh, maybe something here. This is some hand dyed, hand dyed. I guess it's hand dyed. It's just white paper that I have stenciled on with some pink ink. I might try to do something with this. I was using it for collage, but there's still a good piece here. It's really pretty. And maybe a paper flip. So I'm going to ink those edges just like that. These are some ephemera pieces from my script and lace kit. These are like little torn tape fussy cut pieces. They look like torn tape. And that might work well. I am not over embellishing this journal. I'm trying to keep it simple and usable, but add some really pretty elements to it. Okay, I'm gonna turn my sewing machine on. It's to my left. I don't think that you can see it, but you'll hear it. And I'm still here talking to you. I'm just going to do a little zigzag stitch, holding these two pieces of paper together. And let's hope that I left my hot glue gun on. I did, because that'll be the fastest way. Just add a little line of hot glue to the stitching and then stick it on the page. And so you have a tuck here that you can slip something under and then that can flip up and you can do secret journaling or put a photo. So that's the idea there. So I, I really liked that torn tape effect. I think I'm going to use this one too. Let me know when you guys are working with a kit and you have ephemera pieces, do you cut them all out ahead of time or do you cut them out as you're ready to use them in the journal? Usually I cut them out as I'm ready to use them, but there's times that I've pre-cut everything. If I'm watching TV and I need something to do and I know that I need something cut out, I might do that. Most of the time I cut them out right before I use them. I think it's kind of a bad habit, but it works for me. Yeah, so I'm thinking of just gluing that down there, right there. And I want something for a glue book page. My glue magazine is holding another project. It's okay, I've got another. Just use old um, magazines for gluing. I got this idea from I think it's Gail. She does it all the time. I don't remember if that's the first place I got it from, maybe from Joanne who got it from Gail, but that way you can get glue all the way to the edge. 
and it sticks down really well. All right, something on this silver paper. What do I want? I'm thinking maybe this Tim Holtz stencil. And we'll just stencil on a flower in the corner. I'm trying to leave a lot of pages for writing, but I don't want them boring pages. I want to add pretty touches. And since this paper is actually silver dyed, I used a silver ink pad, the end of a silver ink pad to dye some paper. And it has these silver splotches on it. Really pretty. Adding those flowers on it. Oh, that's so pretty. Exactly what I wanted. In fact, it came out better than I wanted. Okay, we have a kind of a boring page here. Let's see, maybe this is a piece of wallpaper. And I think I'm just going to edge the page with it. I used to throw away wallpaper strips like this because it was like, what am I ever going to do with that? But the longer I craft, the more I become a paper hoarder. And the more I find things to do with every little scrap every, not every little scrap, but I've been saving junk mail pieces lately and being like, oh, I can collage over on top of that. So this is just going to add really pretty. It almost has this shiny metallic bit to it. And then you can easily write, but that's really pretty. Now I have a really, really boring page here, but my script and lace kit has a fussy cut flower. That's really pretty. And I'm wondering if it would look good on this page. So let's cut it out. And if we don't want to use it here, we can set it aside and use it somewhere else. So this is really the way I decorate journals. When I create journals, I let each page speak to me in turn. Um, as I flip through the journal from start to finish, I feel like I get the best cohesive um, look there and I don't miss anything. Whatever the pages tell me to do pretty much, um, if it looks complete or I'm okay with it, then I flip on buy. If it needs something, then I try to not overthink it. I try to be whatever comes to mind first. If it's doable and it makes sense, I try to do it. Like as soon as I saw that text, I looked up and saw this and the colors are perfect. And it's a really pretty fussy cut piece. So that's kind of how I deal with it. And even though it had a little border on the fussy cut image, since I cut it out, I'm just going to add the ink. Now, I don't know if I want to fold it. Yeah, that'd be pretty. Like a little, not a tab, but just like that. And if I just put the glue, and I'll use hot glue, if I just put the glue right there in the crease, I can make a tuck spot. So then they can tuck something in here and tuck something in there. How perfect and beautiful. That turned out great. There's a calendar here. This is from Dreamy Designs Club, the Orchids kit. Oh, love how the stenciling came out. I already have a journal card here. I feel like I need something else with this journal card. I'm going to pull out one of my little, I like to keep greeting card boxes to keep little pre-made, ready to go ephemera pieces. See, perfect. It's a little journal card I made this week. This is, that goes great. Just what I wanted, but I'm feeling some washi tape. And I got this vintage washi tape from In Love Arts right here. And I'm thinking, a little bit oh perfect <laughs> happy accident uh, thinking just adding that there love it just a touch looks great we already have an ephemera piece there hmm, maybe something up here but i'm not sure what i've got school Here's a little foiled scrap piece we could turn into a tag. I like the colors. I think it goes well. See what happens when we ink it up. 
maybe we'll put in a little mini eyelet and a charm just because just because I have a gold eyelet my crocodile is so old half of it's broken I just keep <laughs> keep limping it along all right so I'm thinking a bulb pin and a charm Barb has sent me some really pretty charms and oh here's a little butterfly one Barb is one of my suppliers and bless her sweetheart for sending me beads and charms and buttons. Oh my. Cool. So cute. Exactly what I wanted. Just a fun touch. Hmm. I think we need a pocket. I wasn't planning on a pocket, but I think we need a pocket. Why not? Maybe we will only get through one signature. <laughs> That's okay. It's better to get my little hole punch, make a notch. I'm just going to do a simple pocket. This is a really pretty cutoff from a cardstock piece. It's a, yeah, maybe some stitching on it. No, we don't think we need stitching on this one. We'll just add some hot glue. Hot glue is my big trick for crafting quickly. I don't always use it, but I frequently do. Whoops. And let's see what happens when we tuck the little tag in. So cute. Maybe we need a little lace. Do we need a little lace? I've got some lace here, I think, next to me. Do I, do I, do I? Oh, it's not the right color. Oh, here's a fabric piece. What if we make a little fabric ribbon? I think that would be fantastic. I'm here to my left sewing machine. I wish I could keep everything in frame, but I can't show you my entire craft room. Ooh, that's perfect. Hot glue, just a little bit. It doesn't take much. So pretty, love it. And then you can stuff, they can stuff more things into the pocket. Some gorgeous pages here. We've already done this spread. Pocket without a journal card. Dear me. All right, how about one of these? I have a use it up bag here to my right. I have a, one of those green rolling carts from Michael's and um, this was in there. So these urgent while you were out. I used to play with these as, ki as a kid all the time. I used to get them at the Dollar Tree. Stick that in there. Well, Gotta leave some plain pages. It's just a matter of which ones. Maybe something here. All right. Grab my ephemera folder Lonnie made me. Those of you who make me ephemera folders, I am so grateful. I keep them to my right in my rolling cart and I love to pull them out. Maybe one of these washi stickers. Lonnie makes the best ephemera folders. Well, when I say the best, I don't mean better than everybody else. I mean the best as in I love them. Because they everybody Tammy makes amazing ephemera folders as well. So does Vicky. I'm probably forgetting somebody too. This is a washi sticker. If I can get it off here, I think it will be really pretty. Be sure to follow my channel. I often lift list ephemera folders from Lonnie. Look at how pretty that is. Exactly what it needed. Too boring. We need something here. Got my ephemera up here. Maybe I can find something. Okay. These are little rose postcards from Vintage Image Club, and I printed them. I think they're quarter sized. Um, they're really pretty. I like them little, they're so cute. I printed them on like a semi-gloss paper. They're just so delicate, so pretty. I think those will be cute for little ephemera pieces.
And I'm just going to clip them right on the edge of the page. And we'll grab a pink paper clip. Why not? Now I have a paper clip. I like to use the other side. So we're going to find something to go here. But my eyes were drawn to this sticker that I think I want to use on this page. And I'm thinking if I fold it in half, we can put it over the edge of the page. I don't know. We'll just see how that works. There we go. I like that. Maybe we'll add a little bit of faux stitching around because why not? Yvette likes to do a lot of this in her journals. She's one of my suppliers as well. All my suppliers inspire me so much. Become such a better artist because of them. We'll come back to this, but I want to put the faux stitching around this side as well. Pretty sure we're only going to get to one signature today. I don't want this video to be too long. Just quick and messy faux stitching with a black gel pen to keep shaking the ink down. It's an old, old cheap gel pen. Okay, so we still need something here. And I'm wondering, I have these. These are from Graphics Fairy. I like this one. Nice and bold colors, but they have a perfect aesthetic for this journal. So why not? It's already printed on cardstock, so I'm just going to ink the edges. Oh, that's so pretty. I love that. Okay. Alrighty. I'm going to try a stamp here. I got this a Tuesday morning. It is the Stampendous Folate Texture Cube. And it's beautiful. I've been enjoying playing around with it. And I think... Let me see what happens if I kind of stamp it. Part off the page. Yeah, that's pretty. Just something different to look at. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Just ink it back up. Not in the same place. Move it here. Love it. We already made this little tab in another video. And then we're going to end here, pocket without a journal card. I still have some of this paper left. Maybe we will make a tag. Really pretty paper. Kind of luxurious feeling. Almost a semi-gloss on the one side. I don't remember what paper pad it came from or where I got it. It's just a scrap left. Let's see, I'm digging in my fabric and lace. I'm going to go back to this uh, fabric we used and make a little, little tab, I think. Just stitch it on with a zigzag. Really pretty. Love it. Okay, so signature two is done. I guess we will do signature three in the next Lindsay Creates video. There's four signatures in this journal, and I've been enjoying decorating it with you. We've had a lot of fun so far, and you can watch pretty much everything I've done in this journal in the Lindsay Creates series. Just type in Lindsay Zanor, Lindsay Creates. They will all pop up in their ordered episode one, two, three, and so forth, so you can watch them in order. I hope you have an excellent day. Uh, my website is listed below if you are interested in any of the digitals I mentioned, like script and lace. Um, you can check it out there. I hope you have a wonderful day. Give this video a thumbs up if you got some inspiration, and I will see all of you in the next video.